Creativity is one of the best ways to express yourself. For centuries, people have turned to art, not just for beauty, but because it gave meaning to their lives. With just a few simple tools, they could create something powerful enough to impress people, make them think, and even change the way they see the world. Now, as editors, that's always been the joy. For a long time, we thought professional tools were the only way to do it. But the truth is, even with the simplest tools, you can create something incredible. It's not about the tools we use. Because at the end of the day, creativity is everything. But you might ask, why do I keep saying creativity matters more than the tool? Well, here's the thing. Creativity invents. And those inventions later turn into tools that just make creativity easier. Take the wheel, for example. Once humans invented it, everything changed. The wheel let people go way beyond what they thought was possible. What itself was nothing special. Everyone had it. But it was creativity that turned that wood into something revolutionary. Now, in our case, CapCut might look like just wood, just another tool, but it's a lot more than that. Like, I saw this map animation in After Effects and thought, hmm, why can't I try this in CapCut? So I did. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you today. For this, we need a flattened map of the Earth. What we're going to do in CapCut is use the fisheye effect to bend the map, making it look round like a globe. I've put everything you need in the link in the description so you can download it and follow along. So after importing my assets into CapCut, first, I'm going to drag and drop the map into the timeline. Let's change its resolution to horizontal for the video. Also. Let's scale it up so we can move the map around. First, I'm going to create a position keyframe at the beginning of the clip. Then, around the two second mark, I'm going to move the map to China. Around the six second mark, I'll move the map again and focus on the United States. Now, what I'm going to do is right click and open the keyframe animation. Let's select all the exposition keyframes, and from the curves preset, choose cubic ease. This will make it start slow, speed up in the middle, and slow down at the end. We'll do the same for the Y position keyframes and apply the same preset. This preset fits perfectly with what I have in mind. Next, go to Effects and search for Fisheye. You'll see the effect, but I'm going to go with Fisheye 3 this time to show you. Let's just expand the effect to cover the entire clip. See what happened. It gives a globe-like distortion and turns the flat map into a globe. That's what the Fisheye Lens Distortion does. If any other editing app has this effect, you can do it there as well. In the details section, you can play around, but I'll decrease range, twist, and filters to the minimum. This gives me the solid distortion effect I want. As you can see, it's already looking great. In the next part, I'll test the other fisheye effects CapCut has. As creators, we're always looking for ways to save time without sacrificing quality. Editing especially can eat up hours. You know the pain of scrubbing through footage, adding cuts, and trying to make everything look professional. Wouldn't it be nice if editing could be as simple as just telling someone what you want? Well, what I'm about to show you changes everything. Sparky is the world's first AI video editing agent that works through simple conversation. Instead of wrestling with complex timelines and buttons, you just chat your instructions, and Sparky does the editing for you. Let me show you how it works. Like I'm uploading these prison break footages and typing what I want. For example, generate commentary for this video one to two minutes long. Retain some powerful lines and add proper background music. Commentary should cover over two thirds of the video. Then you'll move to a chat page where it generates the result for you. To save his brother from death row, Structural engineer Michael Schofield commits a crime to get incarcerated alongside him. But this is no ordinary prison. This is Fox River. You can also ask the AI to add or modify any external element you want. For example, I want to add subtitles at the bottom of the screen. Sparky updates your video instantly, and you can tweak it as much as you want. But this is no ordinary prison. This is the infamous Fox River. Unlike traditional tools that need scripts, shot selection, and re-editing, Sparky does it all in one place. It finds your best shots, syncs the music, adds narration, and fulfills all your requirements 
perfect for creators who want to edit faster and more efficiently. Sparky is also super affordable. The starter plan is $15 and the plus plan is $35 a month. If you go yearly, you get a 40% discount, bringing the starter plan down to $9 and the plus plan to $21 a month. And if you ever need more, you can grab extra credit packs starting at just $5 and your credits never expire. I've put the link in the description so you can go and give Sparky a try and see how much easier editing can be. Now, let's try some other fisheye effects. I'll add starry fisheye this time. It's like you're looking out of an airplane window, which gives a really cool effect. You can also play around with the details for this one. There are more options. You can change horizontal to move the lens or adjust the straighten value to get more warp and zoom. You can also change the size of the lens to make it smaller or bigger. It took me a little time to figure out which settings to go with, but since there are so many options, you can adjust whatever works best for you. I'm going to go with these settings. You can just copy the values I used, and that's it. This section is ready. Now let's make our animation super pro. First, choose Custom Resolution and let's make it 4K, 4096 by 2160 pixels. Delete the map and drag that vintage photo frame into the timeline. Use this icon to rotate it 90 degrees. Now let's add Elon Musk above the frame. Scale it down so it fits perfectly within the frame. I'm going to zoom into the screen and make some adjustments here. Elon is staying out of frame, so we need to fix that. Just go to Mask and choose the Pen tool. Now, just like me, draw a line around the section you want to hide. Make sure you connect the dots at the end so the mask works. We need to invert the mask. If a section is still outside the mask, just adjust the position of the dots. Okay, now let's fix the color difference between Elon and the frame. This color correction technique is super useful. First, go to Adjustment Settings and decrease the saturation to minimum, then increase the temperature toward yellow. Increase Fade a little at the end of the menu. Go to the Basic tab and change the Blend Mode to Brighten. It's already looking perfect. Now, select both layers and create a compound clip. Now here's a cool thing. CapCut recently added a sub-project section where you can see your compound clips or import them from other projects. If I delete the compound clip here, I can add it again from this section into my timeline. Let's delete it for now and add our map into the timeline. Scale it up just a bit so it fits the screen and then add the previous compound clip above the map. Before we add any effects, we need to place the frame where we want it to appear. I'm going to duplicate it three times to put it in different places on the map. You could change Elon's picture to someone else for each clip, but right now, I'll just use Elon for all three. Now, for the in animation of each clip, I'll choose Fade In and place each clip around one second apart so they don't appear all at the same time. This gives me time to move the map before each frame appears one by one. Next, Let's select all and create another compound clip. Now we'll add position keyframes. As I mentioned before, every two to three seconds, we can change the map's position to where the frames appear. Then open keyframe animation, select all keyframes and choose cubic ease. Finally, let's add Starry Fisheye into the timeline and adjust the settings as we prefer. That's it. I also added dotted lines to connect it, which I teach you in another video, but overall it's professionally done in CapCut.